Hello everybody, today I will provide basic mathematics for us first. Let's begin. The first one I want to talk about exponent or we call power. So what is that? So we have a power power p this means a multiply a a a a a and in here we have p number of a is mean there are uh, a power p is mean for example we have two power two we have two plus two because there are only two number two three power four is mean that we have three multiply three multiply three multiply three it means there are four number three so three num four number three multiply together because one two three four it means four it means one two three four that's why we have the exponent power the next one i will talk about the formula we have a power p close the brackets and c we have the formula a power p multiplied with c for symbol we have three power two open close the rockets with the power four it means we have three with two multiply with four equal to three power eight it's similar for this one two because they can uh, swap the number together because they say multiply. The next one, let's say i is under the root of p. It means so that we have a power 1 over p. For example, we have 4 power 10 under the root 5. So we have 4 multiplied 10 with 1 over 5 because we can uh, use this formula in here so that we have 4 multiply with 10 uh, 4 power 10 over 5 so that we have 4 power 2 so that you need to remember two formula in here for the exponent because they have on the test The next one let's say about multiply and di divide on the exponent. For the first one we need we, we need to know that the pace should be the same so that we can use multiply and divide. So the first one we have a power p multiply a power c. So the formula is eight power p plus c. Be careful. This one. This one is different. Let's see P multiply C. In here, let's see A, B plus C. That is totally different. So that's we need to remember this one first. Let's see the tricky and some students, they just don't know how to use them. Because when they saw the formula like this, they use P multiply with C. That's it wrong. Let's see P plus C. And the first one, we need to know that we had the same pace, so we can uh, use this one, 3 power 2 plus 4, so that we have 3 power 6. The next one, we need to have the same pace, the pace is A is same. We have A power P divide A power C. So that we have a power p minus c. For example, 2 power 5 divide 2 power 3. So we have 2 power 5 minus 3 equal to 2 power 2. This one is on a test too. Because some tests they have the multiply and divide for the exponent. The next one are uh, just about the review for everything. So to calculate this one first, 
we have a power 4 multiplied to power 3 but we know that there are different base so we cannot use simplify together so we need to transform the base to the same together we know that 8 is equal to 2 power 3 so we can transform them like this because 2 power 3 is about 8 in here so we know that 2 power 3 close the rocket with power 4 it means we have 2 multiplied over 2 power 3 multiplied with 4 and 2 power 3 we have 3 multiplied 4 is 12 and uh, 2 power 3 in here they have the same pay right now so that we can uh, use this one 12 and 3 go together so that is 12 plus 3 so that we have 2 power 15 so that's 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 why we need to clone this one the next one that's about we had a set base but we had different uh, power so we, we need to simplify all of them first we have 5 power 4 over 2 because the square root is 2 so that is 1 half in here and over there we have 5 power 2 oh, close the bracket with the 4 so that we have 2 multiply with 4 so that we can simplify 4 divided by 2 is 2 and uh, 2 multiply with 4 is 8 right now they have the same base right now so we have 5 power 2 plus 8 so that we have 5 power 10 so that we need to calculate like this and you get the score The next one, I will talk about the angles. Some tests that we show about the geometry, so we need to learn about the angles. The first one, we need to know that the strain line is about 180 degrees because there are strains, so the angle in the strain line is only 180 degrees. The right angle is 90 degrees because they have the square in here that's a right angle a q angle is mean the angle below 90 degrees so that because 90 is the right angle below 90 is about a q angle obtuse angle is mean the degree is higher than 90 degree so that's they call a obtuse angle Complement angles. It means that two angles in here plus together or sum together or many angles sum together. They call about complementary angles to create 90 degrees. The sum of the complementary angles is 90 degrees. About the supplementary angles, it means the total two angles should create 180 degrees. So that we call about supplementary angles. The next one, I will talk about the opposite angle and parallel lines. Opposite angle is mean that the two angle in opposite side of two lines in here, they have the same angle. The reason is that when we see the strain line is about 180 degrees, I will use this one to explain. First, we know this. We know this angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degrees because this is a strain line. Just cover like this. We have two supplementary angles. That's a 180 degrees. But in here, 
if we close the hand in here, we have another line and uh, the angle number 3 in here. For 1 plus the angle 3 is create 180 degree. But we know that the sum 1 plus 2 and 1 plus 3 are same the angle number 1. So that the angle number 3 and angle number 2 is same. So that, that's why we call opposite side angle should be equal. And the next one, I will talk about the parallel lines. Parallel lines mean two angles in here. They are same together. And uh, two angles in another side in here, it means two, one plus two equal two plus one in here. And uh, they create 180 degree too. So this one, if you want if you know the angle in here is 70 degree, you can calculate the angle number 2 in here by using 180 degree minus 70 degree to receive 110 degree. That's the angle number 2. And uh, another thing is that in the other side, angle number 2 equal in num angle in here too. Because, because in here, we have the same angle. In the parallel line, but the angle in here to another angle in here, they they use the opposite angle, so that is the same one. So that the angle in different uh, line of, of the intersection, they have the same angle. So if you don't understand, you can go to the Google find the parallel angle that will show to more understandable. So that's why we need to learn about the parallel lines in here. The next one, I will provide more detail about triangle because many tests they will provide triangles. The first thing that the sum three triangle in one triangle is total one hundred eighty degree because. When you try to cut the angle together in here and you put the same line over there, they only create the 180 degree. That, that's why the sum of three angles only create 180 degree. The next one I talk about isosceles triangle. Isosceles is mean two sides of angle are same and two angle in here are the same too. So if we want to calculate this angle, we use 180 degrees minus two same angle and you can get the, the angle in here because the total three angles is 180 which is minus two angle if we know the two angle in here because the same angle. The next one, equivalent, equilateral triangle, it means three sides in one triangle are the same. Three angles in here are the same too. So if we want to calculate the angle, we use 180 degree divided by three, we can receive 60 degree. So that's the equilateral angle triangle is always 60 degree because that's it we calculate in here and we just I just proved for you how to calculate the equilateral triangle the next one that's about right angle it mean right angle triangle right angle it mean uh, we have the the small area 90 degree in here some people we can call right angle, right triangle, because they have at least 190 degree in here. So if we have the right angle, we can use the Pythagore. Pythagore is mean uh, a is power 2 plus b power 2 equals c power 2. So this is on the test too, so you need to learn how to do the Pythagore. Try right angle. 
the next one I will talk about the area area of the one angle should have the height multiplied with base base in here and the height in here so that we divide by two so let's say about the area of the one triangle but about up two angle in here it means there is up two so the high we will calculate from the top of the highest point to go to the base this means the base is just like this not like this because they don't calculate the area in here there's no area we just calculate the area of the triangle so we have the base in here multiply with the high in here divide by two divide by two in here so that we get the area of the, of the triangle that's it my final as fast math thank you for watching because that's it everything i cover for on the test so that i hope that everybody get the high score for as fast see ya